Hey guys, Carlos here from Angler's Lifestyle. Uh, we're here at Shadow Cliff uh, fishing for trout. I'm here with my wife Janet. There she is. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's been a while since uh, we've been here and uh, we wanted to go ahead and give it a try. Of course, uh, there was a confirmed plant, um, I, I guess last uh, Wednesday or something like that. And unfortunately, the uh, state uh, also wasn't able to plant here because uh, it was uh, because of the closure. So they're going to go ahead and reschedule that. But anyway, uh, it's been a while since we fished uh, Shadow Cliff. Uh, the last time we were here, we definitely got skunk. So we wanted to go ahead and give it a try anyway to see how it's going to go. So anyway, before I uh, show you my uh, morning catch, which was a surprise, let me show you what we did at Quarry. Is that a big trout or a little trout? Oh, good size. Well done. Look at that. Oh, very good. Very good. Very nice. Look at that. So this is a stock trout, right? Yes. Oh, good size. I broken. Okay. I do here. Huh? Huh? Or is that you? No, I'm up. Huh? I'm, I'm out of the water, honey. Really? Yeah, I'm, out, I'm over here. It's you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you got something right there. Is it still going? Yep. Is it just pulling the... Uh, I don't know. Because trout, if they take it, they take it. Yep. I don't know. I know, I saw it too. Maybe it's a catfish. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> It's a mice tail, oh, yeah. so he's probably just probably pulling the, the yeah, just yanking on it. Ah, oh, it's a swim by. So anyway, so that's my wife uh, catching that trout. It was a good sized trout, uh, probably a couple of pounds. Uh, she was using a lure and that day uh, fish just wasn't biting and uh, she actually used a uh, uh, worm. Okay, it's her flo uh, floating worm with the uh, bubble and then with and a long leader. So sometimes that just works that way. And so it's uh, very useful that uh, we actually team up. She does the cast and retrieve and I do the bait and soap. Uh, so anyway, uh, so as I was saying, uh, we started fishing this morning and uh, I was using garlic and uh, green pumpkin. And uh, remember when I told you that uh, sometimes, you know, catfish steal bait? Anyway, uh, this is uh, early November and you would think uh, catfish wouldn't be, be around uh, feeding, but you know, they're out there. And I doubt if anybody is actually fishing them here at Shadow Cliff. But anyway, let me show you what we did. Oop. Yep, I dropped my, uh... Yeah. Let's get this first. A lot of 
You want it? You can eat. I was just going to say. They're a digging bowl. Okay. Digging bowl. I, I, I take it up from a lot. Digging bowl. I want to catch my own. Oh, yeah. okay. I like it. Ooh, this is a big one. Oh. Come on, Carlos. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, fish on. First trip to Shadow Cliff in a long time. He's fighting. Wow, he's strong. Yeah, is that a catfish? <laughs> it's a catfish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's why it was heavy. It did not feel like. <laughs> I bet you this is the same one that hit your uh, line. <laughs> Look at that, a catfish. Oh my catfish goodness. <laughs> Go figure that. That's why it didn't feel like a trout. It was hitting hard. That's okay, I'll take it. But that's a good size. I like this uh, size of catfish though. Yeah, the, the smaller ones are good, like uh, under three pounds stays so much better. Catfish took a garlic power bait. Huh. Go figure that one. So, as you can see, it's very possible that catfish will steal power bait, and they do for the most part. And uh, as you can see, based on the way I was pulling uh, that, uh, uh, that line in and the load, actually in the bend and the load and the you know slow tapping and even even at that you know my uh, my drag was still uh, being pulled uh, that was definitely a catfish so anyway uh, we were gonna go ahead and continue fishing and it seems as though the bite has uh, uh, stopped um, there were a couple of fish that was pulled up early this morning as well but uh, again uh, we don't know if they're deep we don't know if they're close um, well we'll just go ahead and give it a try and to see what happens so stay tuned okay so there's a lot of seaweed here right now at the shadow cliff so based on this the length of this seaweed at least i know that my mystel and my leader is long enough to be above the weed line at least that is the assumption <laughs> as you can see it's really long well guys aside from that thieving catfish we haven't gotten any bite whatsoever I tried power bait, I tried my stale, and of course my wife has been doing the uh, cast and retrieve. She's used lures, she's used worms, and so far nada. So about 15-20 uh, minutes ago, like clockwork, the locals upped and left. So uh, here's a tip for you guys, when the locals leave, guess what? That's a pretty good indication that they pretty much know what's going on, wherein that means there's no bite. So we're just going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to do one more bait change and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens in the next 15 uh, minutes and uh, maybe that's it. One and done kind of day with a catfish. All right. So anyway, as always, come fish with us sometime. See ya.
Oh, it's here. You want it? Okay, I got it. Question is, where is it? Oh, it's there. You want it? Huh? Nice, here. Here. Is my thing running? Yeah. Okay, here's it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, good size. Oh. oh, he's a big size. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy moly. He is fatty. Whoa. Okay.